guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i will be going through 10 tips that i use to save time and to organize my closet now before we begin i do want to say i appreciate not everyone will have a spare room for a walk-in closet i'm so grateful for the space that we have in the home we do have a spare room that we didn't really need to use for anything so i have turned it into a walk-in closet however the tips that i give today you can actually use in any size closet so without further ado let's get straight into it Tip number one is to get rid of your seasonal clothing that you will not be using in the next few months. This will give you so much more room in your closet for the clothes that you will be using on a regular. I use these vacuum bags to put all my sweaters and knitwear that I will not be using in summer, hopefully, and I store these in our storage room. I actually put them in suitcases, but you can use any form of storage, whether that's under bed storage, storage rooms, drawers, anywhere that you can put items that you will not be needing for a few months. And as you can see, using vacuum bags gives you a lot more room for storage so you can get more clothes in there. Tip number two is to invest in good hangers. Now, I know this is annoying to get rid of all your old hangers and start from scratch, but trust me, it will help save so much space. I used to have the bulky plastic hangers, multicolored, it looked a mess and it just took up so much space. But I've gone and got these Velcro thin hangers. Not only are these good for space saving, they're thinner so you get so much more clothes on your rail, but also with the Velcro, when you have t-shirts and shirts that are quite wide on the neck, it just helps keep them intact on, on top so they don't fall down. They look so much nicer and they just save so much space. And I got all mine in the same colour in the grey to match my closet. Again, you, if you have a colour scheme, you, they're available in various different colours, bright colours. You can go for neutrals and they just look so good and save so much space. Another tip for hangers is to invest in one of these. These are available on eBay or Amazon and they are lifesavers for your closet. With t-shirts, instead of hanging them across your rail, you can just stack them up on this. Um, and it just saves so much space it looks good and it also saves so much space you just hang it like so and you can get many items on this now if you don't want to invest in one of these there is a little hack that you can actually do if you just pull this off the top of your drink can you can just slot one of the hangers into the hole like so bring it to the front and then put your next hanger in the next hole like so and it just gives you the same sort of effect and once it's actually hung in the wardrobe, you're not really going to be able to see that. So it will look similar. Tip number three is to colour coordinate your closet. Not only will this look nice, but you'll also save so much time. If you need a certain colour shirt, you know where you're going to go to look for it and you'll find it. So I organise my drawers by type. So in this drawer here, I have my loungewear. It's colour coordinated um, just to make it easier to find whatever colour I'm wanting to wear. Yeah, so if I need some loungewear, I know I'll find it in this drawer. It saves so much time and colour coordination actually looks good. Um, and then in this bottom drawer here, I have all my sort of work clothes. Again, if I'm getting late for work, I know I'll find something to wear in this drawer. And I've colour coordinated it sort of as best I can. And on to tip number four. This tip is to help keep your clothes smelling nice and fresh. What I like to use are these Lino sheets. In my drawers, I don't know about you, but when you fold your clothes and you don't use them for a few weeks, they start to smell like a, a, a drawer smell. I don't know what it is, but it's just not as freshly washed as when they come off the washing line. So what I do is use these Lino sheets. I just slot them into in between a few rows of the clothing. And when you bring them out, when you use them, they just smell like they've been freshly washed. So I'll just show you how I use these tumble dryer sheets. So I use these Lino ones in Spring Awakening. I just think it smells so fresh and nice. Um, so what I do is I'll just take a sheet out. These are quite big, so I do um, cut them in half. So I'll just cut that like so. And then I just, I usually, if I'm doing a big organizer and clearing out, I put them at the bottom of the clothes and then put the clothes on top. But if I'm just doing it sort of midway, I just slot them in like so, and then one on this side, just like so, just hide it under the clothes, and it just makes the whole drawers, it actually makes the whole room smell nice. The sort of our walking wardrobe just smells like this amazing spring awakening linen scent all the time. It's actually quite strong. Another thing I like to use to keep my clothes smelling fresh is diluted comfort. 
If you have clothing that you don't want to wash after every use, like jackets or sweaters, just spritzing this on them just keeps them smelling like they've just been washed. Tip number five is to have all your closet essentials all in one place. What I mean by that is things that you'll need to bring your outfit together last minute. I have mine here and I have things like a lint roller, I have um, scissors to cut off tags or any threads, I have bobby pins, safety pins, needle, thread, anything that you'll need to bring your outfit together and it just saves so much time to have them in one place rather than run around the house and look for the things they're just there for when you need them and you can just grab them and go. Tip number six. This tip is to hide all your clutter using storage boxes. You can get storage boxes that look stylish and use them to hide your clutter, whether you put them on shelves or at the bottom of your wardrobes, wherever you have space, they look nice and they'll hide all the clutter. Here, I've gone for a more of a boutique look because I have an open wardrobe with no doors on them. So what I've done is I've saved my gift bags and used the gift bags to display at the top. It makes things more accessible. You can get to them easily, but it also hides them like this one so i've used this gift bag here for uh, my nails so if i need nails i know where to go to reach out for them it looks nice but it hides all the clutter and the packaging in here tip number seven this tip is to have one place where you could on one day a week like a sunday you can put all your weekly outfits together that way you're saving time you're not having to think and rummage around for an outfit every day you've got one place now i use this pull out here and store my weekly outfits for the week especially if i've got work i put all my work outfits in there there's five hooks on there one for each day of the week that way you're organized and you're ready to go tip number eight is to use dividers for your undergarments your socks and all your smaller items it can look so messy just to throw your socks and underwear into a drawer but i've got dividers that i use and i'm going to show you how that looks okay so these are our sort of main drawers and we use the top ones for our undergarments and underwear and things so I use similar ones to my husband's but I'll just show you my husband's I'm not gonna show mine um so I have this one here for his um sort of boxes and stuff for ladies you can pull your bras in there and they have sort of sections like this in between so you could get quite a few across and then I have this here just to roll up the socks in so they're just matched and in pairs Tip number nine is to fold your clothes sideways rather than stack them up. This way you get so much more in your drawer and you can just grab the outfit you need and leave rather than rummage through a pile, create a mess and then just need to fold again. Um, it's quite deep the drawer so stacking them up side by side gives you more space so you can, I can actually layer this up, put another sort of row of clothing on top. And the final tip is tip number 10. This tip is to use the space behind your door. You could get over the door hangers and put your bulky items, your jackets, your coats, your dressing gowns, things that you use on a daily. Instead of putting them in the closet and taking up so much space, you can just hang them. They're easy to grab and go and they just save so much more space. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the tips useful. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye.